Insights with Terry Coots, a weekly look through the eyes of predictive astrologer Terry Coots. Here's Terry. Hi, everyone. Terry here. Thanks for tuning in and sharing your time with me. I always am so grateful when that happens. We are going to be talking about June the 19th through the 25th, 2023. So that's what this podcast is going to be about where the planets are, what our health vulnerabilities might be, uh, where our strengths, some of our weaknesses, what to kind of look out for. So let's get started. Now, Gemini is still in the sun sign. Gemini the thinker, Gemini the curious one, Gemini the one that allows us to maybe open our mind and hold different thoughts, uh, being able to search out and look for people with a, maybe a different point of view than what we have so that not necessarily we'll swallow it hook, line, and sinker, but we'd be more willing to maybe listen to it, absorb it, and then make a decision. Uh, it's a very curious kind of energy, so it can help us look to another person's point of view. And we don't have to agree with it, but listening to something, uh, and I find people very uh, having very difficult uh, experiences with that right now where they just want to listen to their own opinion and not you don't have to embrace somebody else's opinion but maybe just give it a listen to and who knows what we could come up with who knows maybe a different thought I think algorithms are not a friend uh, of ours because it feeds us things that were already agreeing with and doesn't show us a different sign making us even more polarized as a species so that gemini energy has been given to us to counteract that now on the 22nd of this week that sun sign gemini will be behind us sadly but on the good side it'll be moving into cancer and cancer energy is so loving and so homebody and so embracing uh, it's it's a good energy to look forward to as well emotionally charged that's for sure maybe crying at commercials uh, feeling overwhelming emotions engulfing us uh, but it's a great time to be uh, in tune with other people that might be going through some emotional uh, situations in their life and you can identify with them mercury the plan of the mind how we think how we communicate that as well at this point is still in Gemini and that energy field allows us again to compare it with the sun sign so that curiosity is there the willingness to explore new things the willingness to maybe have two opposing uh, opinions so that's always something that I think we just need to keep an open mind with so many things that are going on now that's going to change from Gemini to cancer on the 28th so the 22nd the 28th a lot of the planet energy will be focusing around home garden family so maybe you can plan some things to do uh, with the family uh, my family we've we're going to go to a place in Tilbury called the boonies and it's an outside drive-in show and you bring your chairs, you've got your car, it's all opened up, we've got a van with blankets, you, you can bring food, you can buy food, and it's just like when we were kids at the Skyway Drive-In, and I can't remember the names of the others, uh, but it's a great family thing, and you can bring a whole car load, this is not a commercial, <laughs> for $20. So it's a simple, affordable way to get out with the family with that cancer energy. And the kids are still talking about it, about being in their pajamas and watching the sun go down. There's a little playground. It was just fun. So do something that's family-oriented and family bonding Be, you know, before you lose that energy. It just seems to afford us more of an opportunity to do it. Then Venus, the planet of the mind, uh, I'm sorry, the planet of attraction and how we, how we are attracted to things, what's attractive about us, is in Leo. That's a fire sign. So we've talked about that. If you missed the previous podcast, Charlie O'Brien uh, has graciously put them up on the website, www.terryworld.com. And um, if you can go back and listen to some of them, because I think I just talked that right to death. 
and then Mars as well is in is in that fire sign Leo as well so you're doubling up on the fire sign Mars itself is a fire sign with a fire sign so be prepared to maybe have a little bit of um, irritable energy I noticed it the other day I went and listened uh, to some bands play for uh, charity and um, the music was exceptionally loud people were talking uh, they were trying to talk you couldn't hear a thing <laughs> and um, it was nerve-wracking I just found it nerve-wracking because people were talking about things that were important to them you can't hear the noise from all over was just confounding and it was painful so I particularly when I left my nerves were shot I, I really felt um, an ang anxiety nervous nature and crabby I was crabby I didn't say it to anybody but when I got home I could feel the, the smoothness and the peace was gone uh, and it took a while to get the smooth <laughs> smoothness back so Leo adds to that not liking the noise um, not liking chaos it, you can get very irritable so watch your animals too. watch your kids they can't identify that they, they don't know what's bothering them. why do I feel so crabby I even said that to myself what's the matter with me I'm so crabby thank God I live alone and um, I don't have to force this on anybody but if I lived with somebody I think I'd be crabby <laughs> now with all of that just you know be good to yourself just know that this is going to happen give yourself some room if you need it take some me time take some alone time go sit in the barn for a few minutes go play with the ducklings uh, watch them be silly and and then you can feel just fine after that the vulnerability in health uh, this week will be the beginning of the stump the, the I'm sorry the beginning of the week will be the stomach the mucosa your uh, digestive uh, part of your body and female part so if you happen to be a female um, you you may and you're vulnerable in the ovaries and any of the female parts will be a little bit more at risk um, or vulnerable so if you're already vulnerable keep an eye on that if you're not you know you could get a little bit of stomach issues um, and the mucosa is going to be uh, very vulnerable so if you might find yourself excuse me but uh, stools that might be a little bit looser than your normal uh, stools are just keep an eye on it. it means something I'm always looking at the dogs stools because it tells me what's going on is their stomach upset uh, are they digesting their food what color is it that all of that and what's the consistency I know that sounds gross I apologize to you for that but it really gives me a heads up so I can keep my dogs healthy and on track and uh, I do pay attention to our stuff so um, just just do it the middle of the week you'll find it move from the stomach to the heart so if you have a vulnerable heart um, your, the aorta your blood pressure your blood circulation that may be a little bit more vulnerable too so you don't want to put pressure on that if you don't have to it's a heads up kids then towards the end of the week the vulnerable area so may be the pancreas the small intestine the digestive tract so you may want to watch what you're eating how you're eating it how you go about um, uh, digesting are you having any trouble things maybe that wouldn't have bothered you normally may so just keep an eye it's just vulnerable that's all and Virgo energy will be given to us in the moon towards the end of the week which allows us to do some chores around the house and not feel put upon will feel put upon if we don't get some of the stuff done and the house is messy or the table has a whole bunch of stuff on it and it looks cluttered it'll bother you so it's that subliminal undercurrent of ah, kind of thing so maybe just tidy up my dad said when I was young if the house was tidy and everything put away and not laying around on the counters and the tables it just appeared to be clean you didn't have to have it perfect but the tidy part of it is what gave people the impression that the house was clean and that's true so this Virgo energy will give us the opportunity to do some small little jobs to add to the big picture of clean now Virgo energy too is very fascinated about getting your health good so um, that 
it, it, you know, it's a weight loss thing or a weight gain, depending on your situation, inflammation, uh, wanting just to be healthy, healthy, healthy. And um, just a note, uh, one of the studies that just, just came out, not that we didn't know this before, they're just reiterating that foods in high fiber can um, more or less float the calories out of the body before we metabolize them. So it's an amazing weight loss tool. And we knew this before, but they're just coming to it. They said it can account for an 8 to a 10% weight drop um, almost immediately by increasing the fiber. It can also make loose stools. <laughs> be, care be careful, kids, of that and what you've got planned the next day. But I, I did a little research, and some of the high fiber foods would be peas, broccoli, lentils, avocados, pears, brown rice, strawberries, apples, carrots, chia seeds, almonds, popcorn without the butter and the salt, oats, quinoa, chickpeas, kidney beans, love beans, pistachios, endami beans, figs, artichokes, turnip greens, and potatoes with the skin. Uh, so those are your really high fiber foods. So if you can include them in your diet, they will rush those calories out of your body before they set up shop <laughs> and cause problems for you. Now, the number that was given to us this week is the number five. And when you combine that with where the zodiac signs are, number five likes movement, likes change. Uh, likes to travel. So when you add that to where we are right now, the challenge will be as we move into that cancer energy, cancer wants to be home. But if home is someplace else, you could combine travel going home uh, with uh, with uh, adventure. So it could combine easily. But if you're a person that gets homesick, uh, that's going to clash with the number five. So just be careful. It may feel impulsive and that you'd like to do it but if you get homesick, maybe make it for a little shorter period of time. Number five challenges us to search for freedom and adventure, especially when it's combined with where the planets are right now. So it opens us up to new things, new ideas, which is perfect for that Gemini energy that we'll be losing very soon. And there's a little bit of an inclination for leadership in number five, pairing beautifully with that Leo, you know, off on its own, roaring. There's some ambition tied with number five. Um, also a little bit of sensitivity and wanting, really wanting to avoid boredom and routine. So number five gives us all of that in a little nutshell and we get to, uh, we get to play with that. Now, the weakness of number five paired with where the planets are right now is we have to be careful not to succumb to sudden ideas which can cause some instability or even an inclination to nervousness and restlessness with you, that Gemini and that, and that uh, anger uh, kind of fiery energy. It could, with number five, predisposes to that anxiety, restlessness, nervousness. So you're going to try to keep a balance, an emotional balance, your professional balance, and any no impulsive stuff in the financial areas, kids. <laughs> so just be aware. And as the planets change from that Gemini to Cancer, just be careful because that's when our balance gets bad. We get a little off. You know, like you go to reach for the cup and you miss the handle and you knock it off the counter. And we're just a little off. Our, our, um, our ways of addressing things or our accuracy of taking things out of the microwave and not hitting the door might be a little bit off. Now, I took the liberty of pulling some cards for us. And uh, one of the warnings was there will be, and remember it's general, uh, there will be some of us that will have difficulty sleeping this week. Sometimes it's because of the change in the planets, uh, but that's what my guides warned us of. If you do have difficulty sleeping and you know you're a chronic not good sleeper, if you can get ahead of it before it turns into a real issue, uh, making sure that you try to get to bed on time, get that routine going, but we, we may have some trouble sleeping this week. Um, as well, uh, there may be 
uh, some energy fields that will challenge our health. Now that Virgo was given to us to try to help us through it, but it's not just a magic bullet. So that might be something that we look at the high fiber or we look at different things to help our health and the emotions. Uh, according to the reading here and uh, the planets, the two together, that, you know, that sensitivity of that cancer that we'll be moving into could cause some emotional instability. So they're saying, watch your health, watch your emotions. There could be a lot of pressure put on that for us. They're suggesting that we really try to get in our mind what we want, what we need where we want to go, what our goals are, what what do you have your mind focused on. They had suggested to me that if you can do this, it will help you find emotional success. So they're going to give us situations that will try to reinforce that so that we really know, well, you know what, I don't want that, but I'm not sure what I want, but I know I don't want that. So that might be something just to pay attention to this week because that'll be offered to us in situations. How lucky are we that they offer us all these wonderful challenges and opportunities to grow and to learn? And I would take, a, I'd like to take a second of your time and suggest to you that at your convenience, uh, there is a radio station, CKBG, uh, and 107.9 in Amherstburg that we will be starting. John B and I will be on the radio. And if you want to call in and uh, ask your questions, we'll be answering questions if you call in. Don't have the number just yet. When they give us the number to call in, uh, I will pass that on to you. I'm just letting you know. It starts July the 13th. It's going to be on Sundays. Uh, so John B and I will be there manning the phones just like we did on CKLW. I'm so excited about that. So it will be on a Monday and um, that's that's when we start. I'm really, really looking forward to it. And um, save those questions up so that we can, we can uh, try to help you with that. Now, if, if you, um, I'm just looking at this, if you wanted to turn into it, just to try to get a, a, a feel for the station, I know that they have elevator music right now, and and with that, they may find you may find that uh, at least you know where it's located. Now, I would like to thank Charlie O'Brien sincerely for putting us on Spotify podcasts, Apple iTunes podcasts, Amazon Music podcasts, SoundCloud, YouTube. He gives me the YouTube link. Uh, when he gets it up and I will put that on Facebook again. He's also got four or five of the podcasts that might you might have missed or you want to go back and re-listen to on the website that he's created www.terryworld.com So if you have any technical needs, uh, Charlie O'Brien is really good with computers, with photography, uh, with with any of the website things that you might need. He's really good with that. So just don't be afraid to look him up, Charlie O'Brien. If you need a reading for yourself, feel free to give me a call. 519-726-6699. I'd be happy to answer your questions. Anything that, uh, anything that you might need, give you a personal reading for yourself. Or you can email me at terri dot c o u t t s at gmail dot com, and be um, one of the ones to book your own appointment so I can focus on you. Thanks again for tuning in and sharing your time with me. I'm always so grateful. It's it's the biggest gift a person can give, and hopefully we talk to you next week. Alrighty, bye for now. Thanks for listening to Insights with Terry Coots. Visit Terry's website at terryworld.com. T-E-R-R-I-World.com.